Hey everybody, Chief Meteorologist Brad Penovich here. We've got a heat wave building this weekend, and that same heat wave is going to deter two potentially tropical systems, which could develop subtropical. I'll talk a little bit about it, but there's two entities in the Atlantic we're keeping an eye on, but neither of them are going to have any impact on us. The drought is going to be a big part of our future. So here's the wider view. I love this loop because it really tells you a lot about what's going on in the atmosphere. You can see down in the Gulf of Mexico, we've got one disturbed area of weather. That's Invest 91. And then off the East Coast, this is basically over there towards Bermuda. This is a 90L. This is, this is Invest 90. So two separate systems. And then look what's going on over the Carolinas. A giant dome of high pressure is just parked right on top of us. This big ridge of high pressure spinning clockwise in the mid and upper levels is a giant mountain of air. It's like a force field. It's going to keep anything from coming our way. In fact, it's going to bake us under some heat. So let me quickly show you these two systems. We'll turn on the, the formation potential here um, of these two systems. Here's uh, 90L, it's called. And again, this could be subtropical or tropical. This probably has the best chance of getting a name. It would be Ana. Um, again, the impact would be next to zero for us, except for maybe some swells and rip currents on the coast. You can see the model guidance has it basically doing a little loop-to-loop -loop here, forming, and then moving out to sea like this. It cannot come west because of this big mountain of air that's sitting over us. The other systems in the Gulf of Mexico, now this will have an impact on the U.S. in the form of rain because all this moisture is heading towards Texas. You can see all the model spaghetti plots taking it towards um, the Houston area. So very wet weather expected here on the Gulf Coast big big rainmaker for that part of the country so why isn't that heading our way well this big ridge of monster high pressure sitting on top of us let me show you the model upper air charts because this tells you a lot this is up at 500 millibars which we refer to as the mid levels of the atmosphere so you're talking about 15,000 feet up this ridge of high pressure right here you see this mountain of air everything has to be steered around it notice the rain going around this side anything over here would do this and move this direction so this thing right here is just a giant wall that's blocking anything from coming our way. In fact, what's happening underneath this ridge of high pressure is the air is sinking and it's causing the air to heat up and get hotter. So, you know, temperatures right now on this, I'm recording this at like 10 o'clock in the morning, are already in the 70s, even mid to upper 70s, but the dew points are only in the 50s. So I guess the good news about this heat wave, it's going to be hot, but it's relatively going to be a dry heat, at least going into the weekend. Um, and then next week, we should start to see some of the humidity at our way. But this big ridge of high pressure is going to bake us, keep us dry, and keep any of these tropical entities from heading our way. So those things are not going to be a player in our future at all. In fact, if you take a look at the upper levels, this is that upper level chart. Watch this big ridge build over us. So this is going into the weekend. And so you see this red kind of centered over Tennessee and Kentucky. That's the ridge of high pressure. And I, you probably heard me refer to this as the Omega Block because this looks like the Greek letter omega, low pressure here, low pressure here, high pressure here. So what happens with any storm systems that go like this and go up and around, this system in the Gulf would do this, this thing's going to meander and get kicked off. I mean, when we say ridge, the reason we say ridge of high pressure, it's like a mountain ridge. This thing shoots up into the atmosphere like a giant mountain. And just like water going around a giant boulder in a stream, any storm systems in the jet stream or the weather are going to go around us. And you can see how that ridge just sits over the middle of the country through the weekend into early next week. It just kind of parks. And then we go through the middle of next week. The ridge breaks down a little bit. It starts to flatten a little bit. And then we go towards the end of the week. It flattens enough that we'll probably at least get thunderstorms. So if we're going to see some storm chances, I think it's late next week going into Memorial Day weekend. Um, as the ridge kind of flattens out a little bit. And that's a little better pattern for scattered thunderstorms at the very least going into Memorial Day weekend. So this is next Thursday into Friday. So it stays warm, not as warm as it is going to be early in the week, but the potential is there that at least we'll get some scattered storms going into Memorial Day weekend. Um, but look at that ridge kind of parking over the southeastern part of the country. So that's a pattern to keep a close eye on. Um, and just to show you those tropical systems, you can see this is the chance of a tropical depression forming pretty high in the Gulf of Mexico and pretty high there near Bermuda. The chance of a tropical storm forming eh, a little bit lower, you know, 25 percent near Bermuda, near zero in the Gulf of Mexico. But you can see long range, these things kind of fall apart um, fairly quickly. Let's take a real quick look at some temperature guidance um, with this heat wave. 
So one of my favorite products to look at for future, you know, temperatures is looking at the last 20 runs of some of the guidance. That's the thing about guidance. You know, one specific run isn't always, you know, that great, but we like to look at everything in totality. So this little matrix shows you uh, basically a 10 day forecast um, with all the model runs. And so you can see today um, the guidance has been fairly consistent at upper 80s tomorrow, fairly consistent at 90, uh, mid 90s for Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Tuesday, Wednesday looks to be the heat of this, uh, uh, the, the, the peak of this heat wave. You see a lot of mid and upper 90s. Now, do we actually get that hot? It's probably going to be close. To me, it, it, as dry as this air is, I would tend to think that the air is going to be able to heat up much more in the afternoon, but it will cool down uh, quite a bit in the evenings as well. So at least you've got that potential um, that we're going to see some cooler weather um, at least at night. I'm um, just looking at the rainfall potential here in the next 10 days. This is the, the problematic part about this heat wave. That's a flat line zero uh, until next weekend. And even next weekend, notice the, the amounts quarter, half an inch, a half an inch or less in the next 10 days in the middle of a heat wave is bad news for drought conditions. So um, I'd love to tell you that there's some better news as far as the drought is concerned. But just looking at this 500 millibar monster ridge sitting on top of us, it is going to be a dry seven to 10 day period. Get ready for the heat. It's the first legit heat wave of the season. Stay safe out there. Keep your pets safe as well. Make sure they're not walking on that hot pavement. Drink plenty of water. Ease into this. It's hot in the Carolinas, but the first heat wave of the season will always catch you off guard.